I'm your freak. Hey everybody, Freak Show 970 here today with something a little bit different than what I usually do on my YouTube channel. But before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Faith Grips. Use code Freak Show 970 to get 15% off. And well, so today we are going to be looking at, as you can see, uh, this is Batman, obviously. Duh. You can't really see it very well. Really? Oh, well. Whatever. Well, you can see, like, the yellow Batman symbol, but everything else is kind of blurry. Oh, that's fine. But we're going to be looking at my comic, comic books collection. I've got a lot of comic books. Some of these I just randomly got I or I bought them or whatever, but, yeah. So, we don't have to look at those. Those are just random magazines. All right, so... Yeah, I know these technically aren't counted as comic books, but I've got a couple of these actually. Where's the other one? Yeah, Calvin and Hobbes books. And then a couple of Comic Con pamphlets. As you can see, yeah. Promo when I was at Comic Con. This one's got, that's Luke Skywalker, Mark Camel, who I met at Comic Con. And then this one. Stan Lee, who I also met at Comic Con. But. Okay, so we're gonna get into the comics that I really don't even know what are. Some of them I do, some of them I don't. I got these. How long ago did I get these, babe? Mm, probably like two months ago. Two, two months ago? Maybe three months ago. Two, three months ago? They had them in brown paper bags and just said $10 or $5 or something like that for 10 comics, so. Uh, we're not gonna oh yeah sure we'll go through we got whatever this one's called wet works never read it don't even know what it's about them the the modern re i don't even know how to say that one the narmia looks like german or something yeah i don't know um unwritten don't know what that is the Last Man. I actually got that one and that one of The Last Man. War is Hell. So that is what that one's called. Um, the Winterman. Hmm. That seems actually kind of interesting. I might have to actually read these one day. Mm -hmm. The Winterman. Another one. Another War is Hell. It's kind of cool. Another The Last Man. I actually like this album album cover wow this cover comic cover looks kind of cool this one's wanted is this like the movie wanted oh it is oh dang that's a, definitely an adult comic book right there I know, nude yeah nudity everywhere i did not know that these ones these next two i'm going to show you i have actually read I know what they're about. Fanboy vs. Zombies. That's both of them. Well, the title is pretty obvious. Fanboy vs. Zombies. Fanboys are different genres fighting zombies. How hard is that? Okay, this one is... What's this one? Stephen King's The Stand. If you've never read The Stand, it's a post-apocalypse book. And they made a comic out of it. Heavy Metals Hoax Hunters. Okay, so... When I buy comics, I literally do buy them for the the cover. And that's, as you can see, I really like this one. Yeah, the astronaut with those skeletons. I thought that was really cool. What's the next one I've got here? Oh, Clockwork Angels. This is just another random one that I think my mom bought for me. She's bought me, actually, a lot of my comic books. Her and my dad. But, yeah, there's that one. <laughs> this one is I can't pull this one out because I don't even know what this one is this is Mantra that actually looks kind of cool do, 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 do. <laughs> Ooh, there goes. last time I did a comic book thing I did it on Facebook and actually gave away some comic books. 
Sorry to inform you, I'm not giving away comic books this time. Oh, what's this one? Oh, okay, this has got Serenity, which is based off the TV show Firefly, which is the greatest TV show of all time. If you don't believe me or agree with me, fight me, I will win. Then it's got Hellboy and Aliens, all made by Dark Horse Comics. That was, I got that from Free Comic Book Day. Doctor Who. This one I actually got with those other comic books, the random comic books. I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. I love Doctor Who, especially this Doctor. He's the best. Then I think my uh, yep, next ones are Doctor Who as well, which my aunt, who's really into Doctor Who, uh, bought these for me. And for my birthday or for Christmas? I don't remember. For one of the two. Let's see what's the next one. Okay. The next one's called The Air Fighters Meet Sergeant Strick. This is another one that I got because of the album. Why do I keep calling them albums? They're not <laughs> albums. The covers? Yes, the cover. I, yeah. I guess I'm too used to saying album covers all the time. What's this one? Oh, okay, so I'm a huge horror fan. You could even ask Kylie. She would yes. know. I've got horror crap everywhere. But one of my favorite... One of my favorite TV shows. Not the best, because that's Firefly. But one of my favorites is Tales from the Crypt. So I got this when we were in... Co not Comic-Con. Oh my gosh, I can't well, talk we were to in Salt Lake. Salt Lake, yes. I got Tales from the Crypt. Uh, is this number two? Where does it say? I don't think it does. Yep, right there. Number two. Okay. Yep, that's number two. I wanted number one, but they didn't have it. So I was like, oh, I'll buy number two. Okay, so this is... He settled for less. Yeah. Wait, it's still good. Okay, this is another one of my favorite TV shows of all time, Invader Zim. Like, if you have never seen this cartoon, you really need to. If you have never seen Invader Zim, <laughs> wow, I'm going to have to show you that. It's great. Okay, this is one of my favorite covers of any comic book ever. And I don't know why, but I love it. And the name, Kamikaze. Look at this thing. Look at that. That's just really cool in my opinion. Really cool. Okay, next one. Okay, so this comic was my second comic I ever owned. And I know this is like the underdog, like the most famous underdog superheroes of comics and, that I've seen. And this is actually number two. But like I said, my mom bought this for me and I thought it was really cool. And the album. The, <laughs> the cover. I'm going to keep saying album cover, so. But it's, yeah. It's probably time. Alter Ego. I really think this is cool. The colors. I've read this. That was before I knew, oh, maybe I shouldn't open comic books, you know? But, mm. yeah, I opened that one. Because I was like, this has got to be readable. Okay, so this I got at Comic-Con, and we were actually just talking about this because we were watching Comic Book Men. That's what got me the idea to do this again. But The Walking Dead number one, the very first comic book i got it at comic con for a pretty good price i actually bought two copies well one i bought for my friend because he asked me to buy it for him but okay so this one the main reason i bought this one i opened it and read it once because i had to but i bought this because well you all know the channel's based on call of duty zombies and call of duty so yeah that's why i have this one i bought this one at comic con as well as that other one Okay, this is another one where I bought for the cover. It's pretty cool. I've never read it, actually. I just like the cover. I was like, the scroll's getting his head stomped in. And a gun, you know. I thought it was cool. And pretty dark of Marvel to do. This one I don't even care for. I don't even really know why I have this one. But Marvel Manga. I like manga, but not, not in Marvel. It's weird. <laughs> I don't even know where I got that. I don't even know what manga is. It's like Japanese comics, like anime comics. Mm. This one my parents bought for me. I thought it was pretty cool. And this is Deadpool. I've read it once. Still remember the story. What's this one? Oh, this one's pretty cool. I got this in a little mystery pack that they have at Walmart. If you ever bought comics at Walmart, that's really weird to say. But yeah, Doctor Doom. And for some reason, I don't know why how this happened, but it's got... One of the greatest video games of all time on the back. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Always. That's where it's at. 
Okay. Whoa. That's a little graphic. Um, I'm not sure where I got this one either. Probably out of a random pack, Dark Avengers. I don't think I've ever read this. Huh. I'm going to have to look at that one day. That looks pretty cool. See, I haven't even read all of them, but I'm showing you. Okay, this one's pretty cool. The Green Goblin. And look, that's pretty decent sized comic book. It's just Spider-Man fighting the Green Goblin, basically. Like how in the Golden Age the comics, that's how it was. But now it's like the Rebirth version, kind of, as you can say. X-Men Legacy. This is one of, my X one of the X-Men comic books now. This one's really cool. Oh, just so you know, these... The Hulk and Spider-Man toothbrush stuff. I actually owned both of those when I was a child. Mm -hmm. I did. I thought they were really cool. Oh, what's this about? Another X-Men comic book. This is the Young X-Men with the past X-Men in the back like they did with Giant Size X-Men as well. But yeah, there's that one. Don't got much to say on that one. X-Men Classic. This is the very first X-Men comic book I ever owned. Don't, it's pretty cool. Don't got much to say about that one either. <laughs> this is probably my favorite X-Men comic book I own. I got this out of a uh, random pack from Walmart, actually. Yeah, just look at this cover. This is cool. See-through. It's really cool. I like that one a lot. Let's see, what's this one? It's got Hancock on the back. <laughs> so this Wait. is... This is one of my favorite superheroes of all time, but I've only got, like, I think one, maybe two comics, if that. Daredevil. I love Daredevil. Well, hold that up. Daredevil's really cool, but yeah. I got that one out of a random pack as well. The Ultimate Spider-Man, another one I got out of a uh, random pack, but I love Spider-Man. Spider-Man's in my top five favorite superheroes. He's actually my second favorite superhero. And if you couldn't tell, my first favorite superhero is Batman. That's why I have a Batman box. <laughs> I can kind of see that. Yeah. Okay, so this one is the first, well, is a reprint of the first uh, appearance of Deadpool. It's literally the same comic as New Mutants 98, but it has no value as <laughs> New Mutants 98. Then this is a Deadpool one. This is one my parents got for me at the store called Hastings. That doesn't exist anymore, which really sucks. It really doesn't? Uh-uh. I thought it was still in Idaho Falls. Nope. Mm -hmm. they, they sold out. Like, they uh, had a huge blow sell and everything. And I bought a lot of comics there when they actually did that. I Because mm -hmm. everything was, like, 75% off. I was like, yeah. So this is the third comic book I ever owned. After like the third one I stopped paying attention to him but Marvel Zombies. This also has Howard the Duck in it if you know who Howard the Duck is. One of the coolest Marvel characters in my opinion who doesn't get enough recognition as he should. Okay so this is the Defenders. If you don't know who the Defenders are it's basically the, another superhero team in Marvel's universe just like the Avengers. Then Obviously, the Avengers with only like, I don't know. The only one I recognized when I first got this was Captain America on the front, but then I read through it. And I was like, oh, okay, I know some of those people. This is Captain America with Wolverine. Just look at Wolverine getting through that paper. I thought this was really cool. And one of my best friends, um, Juan, who's really into comic books, so I bought the other Walking Dead one for as that same comic and actually a couple more okay so this is another one of my favorite tv shows alf and it's really cool and on the back is the most funniest thing i've ever seen marvel ever do it's colgate and captain america fighting plaque and germs in your mouth like mm -mm. a great way to brand out their marvel <laughs> okay that's this one all right so this one i bought because i thought it was really cool and Two of my favorite, well, one of my favorite superheroes and one of my brother's and dad's favorite superheroes, so Spider-Man and Punisher. Punisher's cool, but he's definitely, he's not one of my favorites. And then this, actually, these next three, I'll show them to you in order. Moon Knight, Spider-Man, Punisher, Moon Knight, Spider-Man, and Punisher. 
Moon Knight and Spider-Man, I'm not sure. But if you don't know who Moon Knight is, people call him uh, Marvel's Batman. And I don't think he is, but he's really cool. And I can't wait for them to do a... Hopefully Netflix will do a TV show about him. But also, I love this. This is funny. Wolverine does not appear in this comic. <laughs> How funny is that? Freaking Marvel. Okay, so this is another reprint. But if I had the original comic of this, it would literally be the most expensive comic I had in here. But this is the reprint of the very first Amazing Spider-Man comic. And I actually got this from one of my good friends. And yeah, I will tell. Well, I think I, you already know who I got this from. But I don't know. I don't remember. I got this from Dex. Parker got one from him too. So this one, the mm -hmm. the only reason I have this is because the person who gave it to me had two of them. But this is literally like in really good condition and I actually got it from my ex-girlfriend's dad. But because he had two of them. And this is two ninety seven. This is three issues away from uh Venom appearing. With Spider-Man with the black outfit, which I thought was really cool of him just to give me. The only thing he ever gave me and the only thing he ever talked to me about the total, the two total years I dated his daughter. Alright, so this one is probably the oldest comic book I have. Like, literally the oldest. And it's the very first one I ever owned. Never opened it. It's Spidey. never been, it's never been opened Actually, that's why it's in so good condition. Yeah, and so vibrant. But my mom bought it for me for $3, and it was the very first one I ever owned. And I will never sell it. <laughs> Come here. This is another Spider-Man one I got from my friend William, because his dad used to collect comics, and they just were all over the house. A lot of them were ruined. There wasn't really any good ones, but... Spider-Man, you know, I was like, oh, I'll take that. And he's like, okay. All right, so this one I had to have as soon as I saw because this is another one of my favorite superheroes. Ghost Rider number two. Yeah. One of the only Ghost Rider ones I own. Other than this one, which I only got because it was like a dollar. Yeah, a dollar. But my favorite one is this one. Doctor Strange and Ghost Rider together. I thought that was just... Legit the coolest thing ever and seeing him pull them apart was another cool thing too. So I'm Trying to separate yep. Okay, this is my This one's really cool. I've never opened this one either This X-Men comic my brother actually bought this for me. I don't remember why but he did <laughs> Maybe he just felt like being nice. He bought me. A, he's actually bought me a <laughs> lot of cool superhero stuff. Oh, so this one my friend got for me, and it's the very first, and I think the only, actually, Fantastic Four comic book I own. There was a time, see, as you saw on this. Actually, maybe you didn't. Oh, yeah. Marvel gave out trading cards at one point. I thought that, thought that was funny. I don't own any of them, but... Okay, this is... The only Incredible Hulk comic book I own, too. But it's got the gray Hulk, which is really cool, instead of the green one. Well, if you guys don't know, there's a little comic book history. Um, he was originally supposed to be gray, but when they printed him out, he actually turned out green. And so they stuck it like that. This is another one I got from William. It sells Angels and um, the X-Men. I just got it because it's random, you know. I got a lot of random comic books, nothing to... Okay, these are like my fourth comic books I've ever owned, and they're really cool. Transformers, especially this one. I love this one. With the Dinobots, my favorite Transformers. And then Starscream. The silver just pops on that one. But yeah, I really... Yeah. This is Arx and the Thunder. I don't even know where I got that one either. Don't even... Yeah. Shazam, I got this from my friend Shelby, actually. He let me 
my ex-girlfriend read it. She left it in my brother's truck, and I got it. So, yeah, that's how I got that one. <laughs> Shelby's going to watch this and be like, what the heck, man? No, nah, Shelby knows I have it. He's <laughs> like that. This is another one I found out my friend Williams. This one's really screwed up, but Superboy, as you can see, it's torn. It's actually falling out of the binding, but, you know, it's a comic book, like I said. Titans Hunt, this is really close. Got some of the Justice League members, Teen Titans, some more Teen Titans. My parents got this one for me from Hastings as well Pretty cute. for Christmas one year. This I got for free at Comic-Con. It's definitely girly, as you can see. But I, as you can see, there's Harley Quinn down here and Poison Ivy. So... The lady's name is Tara Strong. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but she voices Timmy Turner in Fairly Odd Pair. She does Bubbles in the Powerpuff Girls. She does Ben 10 in, well, Ben 10. But she also does the voices for these two, and she did Harley Quinn when Harley Quinn was first introduced into the world. And I met her at Comic-Con, and they were giving away those for free at Comic-Con, so that's how I got that one. This one is another random one, but I love this album album oh my gosh see i told you guys i'm gonna keep saying album cover this cover it's got lobo with wonder woman's lasso and sword into superman's cape i just was like dc you did it again with your villains lobo's crazy badass dude this is another random one it's catwoman never read it but it's catwoman you know and one of my other favorite video games well not Exactly that one, but Resident Evil. I love Resident Evil. Great games. This is... I got this one just because of the cover. If you don't know what this is from, this is from... Uh, what's that show? The Shining, which I don't like the movie that well because I like the other movie. And it's a um, Stephen King book. I'm a huge Stephen King person, but... And a Harley fan, and it says, here's Harley. I thought that was just genius. I was like, I have to have it. Then this is another one I got from Random's DC, Justice League, Rebirth. Also, on the back of this one, and that one's got Kevin Smith, who's comic book man, which we were just watching. Huh? Okay, this one is really cool, but I don't even know what this is about. But it's got Superman into sand. Kind of like the Sandman from Marvel. I thought that was really cool. But yeah. Oh, another random one. This one was the very first Batman comic I ever owned. Got this from my friend William as well. I like this cover. It's really cool. This book's beaten up a lot too. Then, let's see. Not my I like third or fourth. I don't even know. I got this one for free for buying... Batman stuff at Hot Topic and they just gave away comics and I actually got the very last one they had I was like I have to have that This is another one. I love this cover too. My parents bought this for me It's got Daffy Duck with Batman. Come on. Who doesn't like Looney Tunes and superheroes together? This is actually very thick my mom does magazines and She can get them for free or whatever sometimes and that's where i got this this has got wonder woman superman batman justice league yeah so this i bought at di actually because i thought it was cool it's just batman and superman not much else to explain about that American Dad. No, I'm just kidding. That's really not what this is. This is Superman. <laughs> I like the cover of that one. Yeah, the cover's cool. This is another random one from Hastings when they, like I said, when they used to be open. I never read it. Just bought it and kept it. Okay, this is some of the very first comics I own. Nathaniel Dusk, actually, both of these ones. I thought they looked really cool. They were older looking. I was like, I want those. I, what year are these from? 1986. My mom was six years old when this came out. So this one I, I also that bought. like your mom's old. My mom's not that old. But <laughs> I bought this one. This, or I bought this at DI too. Yeah, it's the only Batgirl comic I own too. And I thought it was really cool. 
This is Harley Quinn cover, but it's a Green Lantern comic book. I actually have opened it and read it, but I left the black part on because I thought it was cool. And that is lying. It was not $4. It was actually $7, and I was kind of upset about that. But I still bought it anyways. Okay, so I've got this one and this one. So these are some of the coolest story arcs in DC Comics. You know how Marvel has their Avengers Infinity War? This is kind of like Justice League's version of Armageddon. I can't remember where I got either one. Of Actually, I got this one at Comic-Con because I own this one and I wanted the second one. So that's where both of those came from. Is, is it getting tired holding the phone? No. No? I was going to say, we're almost done. This one I bought just because of the cover, and it's Aquaman. I thought this was really cool. The colors, the way the beast is coming up through the water. Aquaman okay. sitting on top of him. Yeah, I loved this whole thing. And it's Aquaman. I love Aquaman. Okay, so these comics, my friend actually bought all of them for me, except one. I just barely bought the one I needed from Salt Lake because I just needed one more of them to have all of them but these are the Batman Ninja Turtles crossover which if you guys don't know Batman like I said Batman is my favorite superhero Spider-Man's my second but the Ninja Turtles are my third favorite and when I found Ninja Turtles are boss yeah they are when I found out they were actually doing a crossover I was like I need to have them and my friend Juan who's really into comics like I am he actually bought me one I bought me two because I just barely found it because it was the only one I need. But he bought me one, three, here, let me show three, four, five, and six. He bought me all of those for my birthday because I wanted them. And the literally the only one I didn't have was number two, and it actually is the hardest one to find out of the, the set, and I don't know why. But, so when I found it, I was just like, I don't care. I have to have it. So I bought it. And my last comic book I've got is actually a graphic novel and one of the most controversial comics. Like, it is one of the, like, I don't know, darkest comic books of all time. And when I found it at Comic-Con, I told myself I needed to have it. And I also had like $100 to spend at Comic-Con, so... He tells himself he needs to have a lot of things. I do. <laughs> Especially when it comes to comic books. But that's okay, because he's still cute. Mm -hmm. And we still love him. It's better than me going out and buying hookers and drugs. And that's what I told Ben and Jen. So, but yeah, I love this thing. 16 bucks, actually, I was surprised. It's the hardcover, it's not the actual comic book, so it's not worth a lot. But... Still the Killing Joke. If you have never read this or seen the cartoon, or you don't even know what this is about, I don't know why I keep doing this. <laughs> like I'm hitting it, but I will tell you. Well, I won't tell you everything, but I'll tell you the biggest parts. I'm gonna ruin it for you. So, as you can see, Joker with this camera on here. That's really not important. Well, it is, but it's not. So. You guys may know Barbara Gordon. I don't know if you do. This is some comic book history. But Barbara Gordon is Batgirl. She is Batgirl. Or was Batgirl. But so what happened was the Joker came to Barbara Gordon's house. Shot her through the spine. And so she couldn't be Barbara Gordon anymore. But she all or he also got her naked and took pictures of her. And then kidnapped her father and put him through this tunnel of love thing at this carnival in Gotham and had the naked pictures of her all over the wall and like big blown out pictures and it traumatized Commissioner Gordon and Barbara obviously. But after Barbara was shot, she became the Oracle who helps out Batman and Robin and everyone. She's kind of like the second Alfred, but yeah. And well, that's all, that's all my comics. I just wanted to do this. I'm really into comic books. And one day I'm going to have a lot more. And I never, I probably won't do another video like this unless I get key issues or stuff like that. Then I'll be like, hey guys, look what I got. Da 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 da. But 
yeah, that's all my comic books, and that's what I wanted to show you guys today. Thanks for watching. If you're new, subscribe. Leave a like. That'd be grateful. Share the channel. If we just passed 1,000 views on the channel, which we only need 9,000 more, so keep it up, guys. And we also just got 41 subscribers, which we're already about just just under halfway of my goal of 2017 of getting 100 subscribers. So, yeah, if you guys could keep doing that and getting the 10,000 views this year. So, if you guys can do that as well. Did I say 2017? I don't remember. I think I said 2017, but... Two I'm th pregnant. You can yeah. ask me. 2018. It's, that's the new year, but... Uh, yeah, that, like I said, that's all I wanted to show you. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.